So there is a lot of people kicking off and complaining about this month's PlayStation Plus titles. And I get why, but at the same time, they, they are still worth a play. But I understand that everyone's going to be looking for something new to play. So it's that time of the week where we're going to check out the PlayStation Store and see what awesome discounts there are available to you guys. Now, any of these games that you're looking to play, if you want to kind of improve your game style, if you're looking for a new controller just to kind of improve the way that you play, make sure you check out my sponsor, Controller Mods. Uh, they do full custom controllers. They do modded controllers where you can just play a little bit more sneaky, which is always a little bit looked down on, I suppose, unless you're messing around with your friends and they also do the controllers with the dominator buttons on the back which are definitely definitely worth using they just make your gameplay so much easier and i've been using them for ages and i just find them amazing but let's jump on to the discounts now the first section that we're going to look at is the playstation plus discounts now on here there's a few playstation plus games that have already kind of been out there and um, so a lot of you guys will kind of already own them and the games that have kind of already been on sale for ages now so it's difficult trying to find something new in here but there is one game that looks okay not going to be for everybody um, it's a game called wheels of euralia it's eight quid on the store and it's currently half price it's a narrative game it's not going to be for everybody um, it's just an art style chill out game and I suppose if you're into this sort of stuff you might like it and if you're just looking for something new to play I suppose it's only a few quid to pick up. Um, with these style of games to be honest they're not usually my kind of style it's just if I'm looking for something new to play and I see any games that are literally just a couple of quid. Um, a lot of the time I'll download them if I enjoy them I'll mention them and narrative games sometimes they're okay sometimes they're boring and recently I have been more into chill out games so it's just one that I kind of thought I'd mention. Um, but on the PlayStation Plus discounts, there isn't really much else on there. There's literally only a few games on sale anyway. And the ones that are on there have been on sale quite a few times before. Uh, but next up, we're going <clears> to... <throat> But next up, we're going to look at games under £16. Now, again, a lot of these ones have been on sale before. I did think that they'd added quite a few new games, but flicking through, they do seem very, very familiar, as though they're the games that are always on sale. Um, but I'm sure we'll find a few in here that are worth picking up. The first one that I'm going to mention, it's a game called Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's the Royal Edition as well. It's normally 35 quid, it's currently 16 quid. It's a huge, huge RPG game, but as far as I know, it's not full of all like monsters and stuff. Um, pretty much it's like knighthood. If you think Game of Thrones without dragons, everyone's just doing all the sword fighting and stuff. It looks okay. I've literally only played the intro for this bit, uh, where you kind of get your opening into the map. You go around and do a couple of mechs. A couple of quests, uh, trying to get some money off people, learning how to sword fight and stuff. It plays okay. Um, I don't know what the game's like later on, but if you're looking for a new RPG, it could be worth checking out. Only thing is, I don't think it's got multiplayer on it, which is always a downside. But if you're looking for something new to play on your own anyway, it might be one worth picking up. And the second one that we're going to look at is Overcooked. Now, I've seen this everywhere. Um, I know quite a few people that play it, and I've just never even bothered looking at it, just because it's always just seemed like a party-style game. Which, let's be honest, it is. It's one way you have to complete orders for food. And it's a weird style of game, but it's only like a fiver on the store. It's normally 12 quid. Um, it is a co-op game. You can play it couch co-op with your friends. You literally work as a team, following the chef's orders, preparing a meal, and that's about it. Um, it does actually look pretty cool. It does actually play pretty cool. And I think it's actually on Game Pass if anyone's got an Xbox. Um, I'm sure that's where I've seen it popping up quite a few times. There's a couple of different versions available, so you can get some with DLC, which are a couple of quid extra. But it is something new if you're looking for a new couch co-op game to play with your family while you're stuck in the house, I suppose. Um, but the final section that we're going to look at is the Big in Japan. The first one that I'm going to look at is a game that, to be honest, I didn't even know were on PlayStation. For some reason, I thought it was a Nintendo game. Um, it's Dragon Quest, uh, Dragon Quest 11. Now this, it's an RPG with turn-based battle, and it's normally the style that puts me off, but I like the art style of this one. It's not one that I've personally played, but it's one that I have seen people play, and I think that's why I didn't actually know it was on other consoles, just because I've only kind of seen people online playing it. Um, but it looks okay, I just don't like the turn-based battle systems when it comes to RPG. I prefer it's just whoever wins first, rather than having to be really, really tactical about it. But it looks okay if you're looking for a new RPG. Again, it could be quite cool. Um, if you're into your anime, all the Sword Art Online games are on sale. Um, they're like 80% off. Normally, they're all like 50, 60 quid, and currently, they're all under £10. Now, these, though... If I'm being honest, I like Sword Art Online, I love the anime, but the games, 
I'm not too keen on. I've played a couple of them, not for me. Uh, last one that I played was Fatal Bullet. That was okay, probably the best one so far, but still wasn't too keen on it. Every time an anime game comes out, I always expect it to be absolutely awesome, and I'm always disappointed by it. Um, but these, if you're into these style of games, they are all discounted at the moment. But the final one that I'm going to go for is an amazing game that everyone needs to play. And it's a game called Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. It's normally £35 on the store. It's currently £19.99. Monkey Ball is amazing. And if you've never played it, you are seriously missing out. Um, literally, you have to go through a course as a ball collecting bananas. And all the courses are really, really strange because they've usually got loads of little bits and bobs stopping you getting through. Um, with these games though, there's tons of mini games. A lot of the time they can be racing games. I think the last one that I actually played, um, rather than it being full little mini games, it literally could play like pool and stuff on it, which was amazing. They had monkey ball golf, and these was all built into the game, you just had to unlock them. But this though, if you got 20 quid to spare and you're looking for something new to play, definitely, definitely check it out. But that's pretty much it for this one. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. Uh, if you have, I like it'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.